Nick Fassler, product manager at BASF. I'm responsible for diversified herbicides as well as our, our new entry in the nutrient management space. Lemus urease inhibitor is, is a brand new product from BASF and uh, what we're trying to do with this technology is, is move into the nutrient management space and provide growers with more tools to manage their nitrogen programs. Uh, BASF has a very long history in nutrient management uh, going back about a hundred years to, uh, to developing fertilizers and bringing fertilizers to the to, to farmers in Europe as well as globally and we're finally taking that expertise, that knowledge and bringing it here to the U.S. Lemus works by coating a fertilizer and protecting it from volatilization. So when you apply urea fertilizers to the surface, they're susceptible to loss due to the urease enzyme, breaks them down into ammonia gas, which volatilizes off the field in carbon dioxide. With Lemus, we provide that level of protection uh, up to 21 days so you get or incorporation into the soil profile to optimize plant uptake and growth. This past season, we had over 8,000 acres of on-farm demos with growers. We went out with retailer, treated fertilizer, made strip applications to really evaluate the technology and see the performance. Uh, growers first-hand have experienced the excellent handling, uh, compatibility, and then have also uh, also seen the, the, the differences it can mean to their nitrogen management program, be it added simplicity and convenience. And with that, you are looking forward to this fall when we get in the field with the harvesters to measure the benefits and, and, and protection from that nitrogen if we're optimizing that, that program and uh, returning you know, the, the investment on that acre. When growers apply urea to the surface of the soil, it's highly susceptible to volatilization. Uh, what we see with Lemus is upwards of 21 days plus of protection to provide some level of incorporation, be that tillage or rainfall. And uh, by providing that protection, the grower has more flexibility in that system. Uh, prior, prior years, we measured out about 14 days, and we saw we still were providing excellent performance. So in 2014, we took those trials uh, another week or two longer to, to really take out those curves and see what that performance like. And then that's providing um, growers protection because you know untreated urea actually you can lose up to to 40 percent due to volatilization um, just a just a week or two after application so that that window is very critical to optimize that protection and um, incorporation into the soil in our research testing in controlled environments so in these field environments we go out we apply apply the treated urea and then we cover that up for a period of time and measure the ammonia gas that comes off of them and what we see with the untreated is we're losing 20, 30, 40 percent of the nitrogen three weeks out. Uh, where we've treated with Lemus, we're seeing five percent or less of loss after three weeks. So really an excellent benefit, about a 90 percent reduction in loss. And, and, and in doing so, one, you're uh, optimizing that nitrogen, getting it where you want it. It's uh, protecting that investment from the grower standpoint, but then there's also the environmental consequences of, of ammonia deposited elsewhere in the environment, which can have negative consequences. So looking from a grower standpoint, when you make that application, you really want to ensure it's, it's there, it's on the intended target for that intended plant. Lemus will be available to growers in 2015, so we're looking forward to, to bring it to the marketplace. We do have registrations across the U.S. right now, and we'll have it available for the, uh, for the winter winter wheat spring green up market and then as we get into the corn market for the 2015 season. This video is brought to you by farms.com.